In this drawing, I have the outline of the geometry that I'm going to use to build the framework to support the telescope. I'm working in the Structure workspace. To activate this workspace, click the gear icon in the bottom right of the window and select Structure. The first thing I'll do is start inserting structural steel elements along the rectangle, which is my outline. I'm going to insert channels, and I'll start with the top view. I'll specify an insertion point, then specify a rotation angle. For the size, I'll stay with the 3 by 5, and then I'll pull a length. I don't want to use any hide situations, so I'll cancel this. Now, in the browser, you can see that I placed a top view of a U-shape. To place the one on the opposite side, I'll use the mirror command. In the ribbon, Home tab, Modify panel, I'll select Mirror. I'll select the object and specify the mirror line. At the prompt to erase the source objects, I'll say No. And now, I have two pieces of steel in there. Now I will go back to the Content tab and add the end pieces. Now I'll mirror that to the other side. And now I'll create the top plate. I'll draw a rectangle over the top of the entire framework. I'll right click in the browser, select New, Component, and enter the name, Top Plate. I'll press Enter to accept the view of the name Top. Then I'll select the objects, press Enter, and for the base point, I'll use the lower left corner. And there's my component in the browser. Now if I would like this to be a sub-assembly, I can right click in the browser, create another new component, I'll call this one Frame, accept Top as the view again, and for the objects, I will select these existing components. Press Enter and pick the same point for the base point. And now in the browser you can see that I have an assembly that has a single view and contains all those different shapes in it. 